Yo, what's up, YouTube? I go by the name of DJ Odyssey, and welcome to the breakdown with DJ Odyssey. That's me. Um, today I wanna do a little two tricks or three tricks on chords and melodies like something that a lot of people are struggling about you know staying in key those type of things my first video was showing you how to do uh, chords in a deep house to be soulful but what's the point when you cannot really like stay in key so uh, I think now the first thing is for us to actually start this one and make sure like how to stay in key I think that's the main thing how to actually stay in the key and then fruity loops has like a lot of things that show you that makes you stay in key and then I want you to be able to to do that let's do that and let's see how we are actually gonna be able to do this all right and you're welcome if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that subscribe and so that we can be friends you know so that we can know each other we can know each other very well so yeah so firstly, the first trick, one, is to use ghost notes and actually scales. Let's get into a little bit of um, piano roll here. You see this piano roll? So now you wanna st stick into one scale. So click on this stamp and then you see that scale here and then you can click major. And then let's say we do, we stick into F, right? then let's make it like this long and then so now you you make this um sorry uh, let me start this well i don't want it to be on the on the expand i open expand and i did uh, i put like a piano on it just randomly so i have this sampler it's a it's an empty um i don't know what they call these things sampler and then it's empty doesn't have an uh, like a sound or anything so that's why i open the piano roll and then this is where i'm gonna take a stamp and then let's say remove that only one and then now say we choose on this melodic you say scale and then you choose major right and on a major and then i said mm, let's say f and then so for the whole four bars and then now you click on it for more octaves higher and let's go down and then you find an f and then this is an f again and then another f and one last f i think uh, if you still want to do this you can still go down so now you have all these notes selected and then you can go to stamp here and say only one or none basically you are cool and now the next thing is to come into expand and then open the piano roll so now you can see you see how you can see everything like this is everything highlighted here is where your 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 scale is going to be like your key and then so now you can create um you can now create chords from this um let's say we choose any on this scale right and then okay let's say we do that so for like we did the last time but this time you're not choosing this time you're not going here and actually choose a ninth you're creating a ninth yourself so you choose this one this one you jump one one of these highlighted and then you put it there and then you put that one two three four you can put another one and probably another one so it's gonna sound like this And then so as you can see we have like one two three four one two three four five six notes so let's put another one we can maybe come here and put six you just jump one in between and then you're good one two three four five and then six and then we have this playing Yo, 
can you hear this? Like you have that soulful already. And then um, let's say now you want to create a melody on top. Now let's play around. You can choose this. Choose that. Choose that. And then choose that. Rah, just play around. And then I'm just playing. Mm, let's play this. As you can tell, like you already have a nice feel to this, and then so maybe because uh, it's, a, it's a piano straight up. Let's try an electric piano, and then actually like a soft mark, I think. But marks are nice. Huh? It's like rolled. As you can hear, like there's no key which is off key right now. You're playing it, and then already because you chose, uh, with what did we choose? We chose an is it an F? Um, I think we chose an F. You already know that you're on an F major scale, and then, like when it comes to things like auto tune and things like that, you already know that when I have to tweak my voice, I just have to use like an F or an F major onto your to tune and the voice will just get onto the song and then it makes life easier this way and then uh this is the first way uh let's try another way let's delete this cut uh another way is to actually they're almost the same thing but now you open the piano roll to expand and then you go into this thing this arrow here and then go help us and from help us you scale highlighting and then make it automatic so automatically no you can see now nothing is highlighted and then now we we like for me this helps out a lot with uh, um, when you need to make um, what do we call it like melodies and from melodies it shows you which, which scale are you on and then you can actually put down chords and then from there you you are definitely moving with this whole thing so now let's do um uh what did i say now let's find a melody first let's say you that guy that wants to do melodies first and then let's try this So this this thing only works after the third note that you put in. So maybe you have a melody in your head, but you don't know which key you're gonna be on. So it will work nicely with this. So let's try this. So let's say I have a melody. Like I will say. As you can see, now it shows you, okay, fine, this is the scale. This is like the the, 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 the keys that you're going to be, be on. And then now, after this, you can just say, let's hear this. Um, Let's choose this, right? And then now, let's say randomly, I choose. See now it changes. Um, I need it to stick to what it was giving me. I will put it here. And then I can actually move these, um, put them on the next 
and then next so we have a four bar from a one bar um, melody and then now this is where like now you wanna have like a chord maybe just below this and now let's hear this so I normally use it, use my ear like okay maybe I know like maybe you should have like the first uh, the first thing like the first uh, the first key the first chord and then from there you can just randomly play chords like like that it's so simple let's hear So I'll put this. I like this as well. So this will do. So now I have the the root notes, and then now I can create a chord on top here. So this, and then. And this is how you actually do this. And then I uh, choose this and then so I'll come here and then I'll do that. And then this will come here and then I say this and then um that and then this i don't know as you can hear you already have a nice feeling to this let's play one more time Let me take the melody and octave high so that it don't mix up with the chords. No, no, no. I think I like it like this. So just to mess with the chords a little, I'll take this octave low so that, as you can see now, everything kind of links up. As you can hear, it's, it's, it's a nice melody with chords. Um, as you can tell, this would make a better hip hop, a better hip hop song. And then let's say we choose, I like these percussive. I don't know which one we'll do, but uh, we'll select. Let's play. I think that, that that like sums up like um, what this tutorial what this tutorial was all about. Just showing you how how to make how <laughs> just showing you tricks on how to make like chords and melodies into into FL Studio when you don't actually have the knowledge of the keyboard, um, and then it will, it will it will help you a lot into making some dope ass beats. And then 
yeah man my name is dj odyssey subscribe to my channel let's do this one more time let me know if you want to see anything else and then maybe i'll finish this this on stuff uh, put some cakes on it and then make a beat hey man i just made a beat yeah thanks for watching i love you guys peace yo